Okay. These are the beds. Busy eating. Some are resting. Some are drinking. We always provide power, light for them to eat even at night. So, this is their cage. Is it 4 by 12? 4 by 12 by 2 feet height. So, oh, this bamboo, all oh, bamboo, screws, and the netting system. So, reason for bamboo, this is what we have readily available in my environment to, to save cost and we use the roofing sheet it's not aluminum we call it alucin so that's the bed this is their bedding you can see the food that they tend to waste and um, it's more like a drawer, it can be pulled out and uh, cleaned out and put it back. Oh, so this is the brother house for the turkey <clears throat> to give them about 32 to 35 degrees. This is where. We do our maggot system. This is where the substrates. This will eventually go to form uh, <clears throat> compost. We also use them for odorless maggots. So I just harvested some maggots now. So I'm trying to use a separation technique to get the maggots away from this substrate. I harvested them from here. Just um, scoop, scratch the surface. You will see them. You collect them, and it's completely odorless. So I'm going to use this maggot now to feed my fingerlings to save cost. And this is high in protein and fat. So let me take it to where we have the fingerlings in the aquaponic system and feed them with. Uh, the maggots okay now what I intend to do is to add the add what add this to water the water will help me separate the substrate from the maggots the maggots will tend to float the substrate might eventually go down so Rinse the whole thing. This is just ordinary water. It's not. Uh, there's nothing in it. It's just water. Okay. All right. Eventually, some of the maggots too will go to the bottom, and some will float. So. There is another technique to do odorless maggots, which we're going to teach in our upcoming training. But this is the traditional way people do it. There are other ways you can do it to make the separation techniques easier. So let me stir it up, sieve the maggot out, then I'll show you how we feed the fingerlings with it. So this is what I'm able to get out for now. So let's go put it in there. So you can as well use your take your substrate, put it on top of your pond, have a mesh net under it. So when the maggots try to leave, they'll fall into the pond and the fish will just eat them up. That is another easiest way to do it. All you do Intensive one, 
it should be easier to harvest than this one so i don't know if you can see the scarfish there so let me don't worry about some of the um substrates you see there some of the manure that came out with the maggots they will eventually be picked up by the pump and pumped back to the grow bed for filtration so all right there you go so yes let's see if we can capture anything we'll see how they eat at the bottom you can see how they feed on the cat leaf the the maggots they love it so much and it makes them grow bigger and faster okay so this is just a demo on how you can cut cost using maggots to raise your fingerlings and they will grow super super fast uh we'll make another video on how you can use um uh, the liquid um liquid water with some nutrients to feed your um, maggots to grow faster and it to be easier to harvest so but this is just a demonstration of how you can feed your maggots to your catfish all right see you some other time we'll add more videos